Deanna Ford. Heroes, heroes, Deanna Ford. Madam Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, guests, and friends. Heroes, we are told, in the movies and on television, save the world from the dastardly destruction of life as we know it. Very, very often, they do this alone, dodging danger at every turn. And have you noticed, very often, they also have super powers. Wouldn't you just love to have a superpower? Recently I was asked a question, and maybe you've had this happen to you as well. I was asked, Deanna, who's your hero? I drew a blank. I didn't know anyone who'd recently saved the planet. And the people I admire, I didn't call heroes. Later, when I had some time, I thought about it, and I rephrased the question. I asked myself instead, who inspires me? The floodgates flew open. My life passed before my eyes. Without the dying part? <laughs> Names and faces came to me of people throughout my life who had inspired me. For instance, two of my inspirations in my teens were probably an unlikely pair for a 14-year-old girl, but I didn't. The first one was Herb Elpert and the Tijuana Brass. <laughs> Who has heard of that Tijuana Brass? <laughs> awesome music. I put the record, record on <laughs> when I was doing the dishes, and I'd be scrubbing away. You should have seen how clean all of the nooks and crannies got when the record wasn't quite done, especially when the lonely bull came on. Da-da, da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da. I loved Herb Albert's music. However, my trumpet teacher did not. That's okay. He introduced me to classical <coughs> trumpet playing and the music of Russian trumpeter Timothy Dokshitzer. He had a bold sound, gentle and quiet when necessary. And technique? The man could play. Well, it was amazing to me when I got to second year university and I was playing one of the pieces I'd listened to him play. I didn't have all of his bravado yet, but I was getting there. <laughs> to this day, I still love that piece. Two men, two really different sounds. They showed an eager young trumpet player what that instrument could do when you worked at it. After I left university, life progressed forward, but instead of playing trumpet professionally, as I was aiming, I actually found myself the leader of the band. I had a 45-piece volunteer military band, kind of an adult community band, all levels, all abilities, and many inspiring players. But for me, one player in particular was stood out, and that was Marge. Marge saw an early concert we did. We were having fun. She wanted in. Great. What do you play? Piano. <laughs> it was a brass and reed band. <laughs> Clarinets, trombones. How about drums? She went for it. Boy, did she go for it. She went in a couple of short years from only ever picking up the sticks her son left laying around to being one of my most trusted drummers. Nothing faced her. Not even when I put out on the stand the St. Louis Blues March. Went from straight to swing and back again. Watching her blossom as a player inspired me. And it also showed me what you can do when you set your mind to something and you don't stop until you get it. One more thing about Marge. She joined my band when she was 58. Now that I'm in my 
After 30s, <laughs> many people inspire me in different areas of my life. But I can't just name one in one really important area. There's too many. The area is communication. I've done it on my trumpet. I've done it with my baton. And now I want to share my thoughts and ideas with my words. And then there's so many great speakers, many who have stood on stages like this. How can I pick just one when collectively they inspire me in similar ways? For instance, I'm taken with how they move on the stage. They have confidence and poise. They craft compelling messages and they do engaging deliveries. What I most admire is their ability to move people to either take action or believe something. Many of them inspire me. Who inspires you? What are their messages for you? Messages for me? Keep going. Hold the vision. And age doesn't have to matter. Have you thought about it? Or, you know, have you seen what overcoming obstacles can do? Or what it means to, to stumble and fall? and rise up again? Have you thought about it? Or are your inspirations and your aspirations lying dormant in a dusty journal, maybe? And you're busy watching the fictional heroes on the TV and in the movies and eating the popcorn, and it's really exciting, and it's not real life. In real life, it's regular, ordinary people doing the extraordinary things. Sometimes, they save the day in a flash of a moment. Most often, they trudge through their day against the adversities of whatever their particular situation holds for them until they reach their goal. To me, they're the real heroes. And answering that question that day, who inspires me, and all the names and faces that came to me, re-inspired me, reinvigorated me. And I know you know, it's hard work working towards something really important. But I found you're less tired when you're inspired. When you have time, take the time. Answer the question, who inspires me? You may find there's a message. You may find a super powerful message. Madam Tosman.